This is the Exodus Knife and Tool Workhorse 1.0. The wood that it's on top of is seasoned sycamore. When sycamore hits knife into sycamore batoning, it sounds like someone hitting concrete with a hickory baseball bat. The current workhorse was inspired by the first knife I ever brought to market, the Revelation Blades workhorse. That knife was made in Nepal in about 2015, and you can see it featured in my Ozark Adventure video from that time. We ceased production of the original workhorse for the same reason that I split from the Kukri house that I was working with in Nepal to manufacture it poor quality control, poor heat treat, and poor overall fit and finish. This current batch of workhorses is made by Bear Forest Knives in California and will have none of those issues. The workhorse is a knife of preposterous dimensions, weighing in at over two pounds and coming in at well over three eighths of an inch thick. This knife is not in this current iteration designed to be the last knife that you'll ever need. It's not designed to be the only knife that you'll ever need. It's not designed to be the best survival knife on the market, although it could someday become that. This current iteration of only 20 knives is designed to be really, really freaking cool and unique. The finish on the workhorse is forge scale. It's natural, it's varied. Every knife will be completely unique and absolutely different. None of this is ground off like on normal knives. It does offer a good bit of protection against corrosion, but it also will wear uniquely with time. The steel on that we went with with these knives is 1084. I got it from NJ Steel Baron who did my water jet for me. Um, I chose 1084 because it is one of my favorite steels, period. Regardless of cost, regardless of highfalutin, fancy this, that, or the other, 1084 is a steel similar in performance to ADCRV2, very similar. It's incredibly tough. It holds an edge nearly as well as 1095 for all practical uh, purposes, about the same, but it has nearly double the toughness. It can hold a thin edge. It is just an absolute tank of a knife steel. The handle material that we will go with is vintage micarta from Pops Knife Supply. It's actually not the same handle material as what you see on my knife here. This, we had some problems and had to go with what we had and we changed to the other vintage uh, micarta later because my first handle material didn't end up working out. But it is a brown and black layered vintage micarta and we'll be using loveless bolts. So these scales will not only be epoxied on, but they will be mechanically fastened as well to make sure that they are absolutely as tough as pos possible. Now, again, there are only 20 of these knives total being made, and I'm keeping one of them. Nine of these knives will come with Black Bear Custom Kydex Kydex, similar to this one in color and design. There's a little ticky tick there for you. Uh, Black Bear Custom Kydex does just absolutely phenomenal work. The other 10 knives will feature leather sheaths made by Michael Spaniers at Spirit of the Bear Designs. The man is an absolute artist. Every step of this process has been a no costs overlooked no cost considered process. The just getting something this thick in and of itself is exceptionally expensive. Premium handle materials, absolute premium sheaths. Only 20 of these are going to be available. So although I do hope to someday have a workhorse in everybody's hands, these 20 knives 
are for the people who are going to really prioritize it and who really appreciate just what it is that this knife offers. So Jake, what exactly does this knife offer? Chopping. Yes. Feather sticking and firecraft. Yes. Batoning. Uh, yeah, it'll do that. What this iteration of the workhorse offers is exclusivity, preposterous dimensions, just an absolutely unique knife on the market. And throughout all of my testing and throughout all of my enjoyment of this knife, never once did I have to be concerned about what I was doing to the knife. Never once have I been concerned as I was batoning through stuff, chopping into stuff. What this knife offers is near indestructibility that I do not believe will be matched by almost any other knife on the market today. This isn't about marketing or being pretentious or creating a fantasy for you to buy into. This isn't about making you think that this knife is something that it's not. It's not a knife that most people are going to put on their belt for a hike. It's not a knife that most people are going to want to put onto their belt ever. This knife is art. This knife is fun. If I end up with this knife in some kind of crazy grid goes down, silly billy, the end of the world, poop hits the fan scenario, uh, am I going to make it work? Absolutely. Absolutely. Will I wish at times that I had a knife that wasn't so heavy? Yes, I will. But it will, there is peace of mind in knowing that you have a blade that will outlast any other blade on the market. So that's what I'm offering. This is, this is a knife for a very special customer, for a very special person in a very special situation. I can't do custom runs of this knife at bottom dollar for you guys. I can't make 20 knives at the cost that I would make 300,000 knives. It's just not going to happen, but I want you to know if you are into this project, I do plan on making the workhorse a knife that is available to anybody who is willing to commit, who is willing to invest. 
the workhorse or any of my knife designs, they will never be for the person who doesn't really use or care about knives. I will always be selling a premium product that I am proud of. And I cannot get a premium top of the line product that I'm proud of in Walmart for $50. I'm sorry, it cannot happen and it will not happen. But my ultimate goal is to make designs that are marketed absolutely honestly, that are the best on the market for what they are designed for, and that any working man, if he prioritizes it, can afford it. That is the eventual goal. But when I'm doing limited edition run customs like this, this is for a little bit different client, honestly. This is for a guy who has a sickness. It's the same sickness I have. It's this knife weirdo sickness. If you enjoyed this video, if you're interested in the workhorse, workhorse, let me know. I'm gonna put a link specifically to the workhorse pre-order in the description box below. Guys, I'm not going to give you an estimated uh, time date of completion. I think that these are gonna be ready in a month or two, but I can't guarantee it. These are being handmade by a dude. We have a lot of different moving parts and pieces here, but the one thing that I can tell you, if you pre-order a knife, you will get a knife. And if you sleep on this, you will kick yourself forever. If you are an absolute knife nerd, you will always look back to 2023 when you could have had one of the first Exodus knife and tool workhorses when only 20 were made. And you will be putting up wanted posts on Facebook or Instagram or something for like a decade. I already see it with some of my rare older designs. Uh, this is not a knife to sleep on. It is something special and it will stay something special because the next run of this knife will be in a quarter inch thickness. It will still be custom, but I do plan on that being more affordable. The following run I'm planning at this time to be 3 16ths of an inch thick. And Lord willing, someday this will be a production knife, but you're not going to see a lot of this. And to be honest, I can't afford to make a lot of these. I've got thousands and thousands of dollars into what is ultimately somewhat a silly project. Not many people out here in this world, it's a very small community of people who not only like premium knives, exclusive knives, and really, really thick boy heavy knives, but who also will find my YouTube channel. Every day I get a new subscriber, people are like, where have you been all my life? I can't believe I've never seen your channel. The truth is, I'm not easy to find. Not on purpose, I'd like to be easy to find, but I'm not. So, guys, it it's not gonna get more exclusive than this. Anyways, so the link to the pre-order will be in the description box below. I am so, so freaking excited about this. Um, I did mention a few things, a few changes that we made. They will have loveless bolts instead of pins like this. The micarta will be a vintage micarta that is layers of black and brown. The handle will come down a little bit further at the front right here, which is going to help with our premium Kydex. Uh, the plan is to bring this grind back a little bit further no, I'm sorry, this grind forward a bit, and this swedge will continue through right here instead of having a plunge line here. Um, but with that being said, uh, if you go to Exodus Knife and Tool to the pre-order page, I'm going to ask Garrett to send me some progress pictures as they're being made, as they're a work in progress. I don't know if he'll send me all 19 knives at once, or if he'll send me batches of five. I don't know how this will go, but what I will say is that the people who put their orders in first, if we go in batches, will get their knives first. Anyways, guys, this has been a long and rambling video. If you hate it, I apologize. It is what it is. I'm stoked on this knife. I can't, I, I'm kind of, I, I, 
you, you know, maybe, maybe I will talk to White River about going three-eighths of an inch thick. Part of what I'm doing here is doing different thicknesses so I can see what we need to do. There's not a lot of three-eighths inch thick stuff available on the market. So who knows? But chances are, in the history of Exodus knife and tool, uh, this will probably be the only 20 knives that are ever in this thickness. And it's not just, again, it's not just three-eighths of an inch thick. It's 0.3910. Ridiculous. Thanks again. Have a blessed.